It is a well-known fact that anyone in the public eye is exposed to criticism and scrutiny. And that is especially the case for pageant contestants. Veteran cultural activist and director of the Waitukubuli Dance Theatre Company, Raymond Lawrence, Stress that the young women in the teenage pageant should not focus on the naysayers. But then you have to be able to decipher and discern what is destructive and what is constructive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our advice to them is really to forget about the destructive um, and you don't really pay much attention to it at all because these are people that are just out to bring you down in a sense. Lauren said that the young ladies should focus on the criticisms that can help them make improvements and build them up. He commented that many women who have participated in the teenage pageant have gone on to be very successful. Been, you know, taking it, a lot of them have, as I said before, have gone on to do very, very well. There's some of them that have gone on to actually win the Miss Dominica crown. You know, a few examples are Mara Walter, Leandra Lander, Vanessa Isles, Minerve Lewis. Mm -hmm. These are girls that took part in the teen pageant and later on went on to actually win the title of Miss Dominica. So it goes to show that the pageant, the teen pageant, can be a wonderful stepping stone to greater things. The 39th Miss Teenage Pageant Competition organized by the Waitukubuli Dance Theatre, will be held at the Windsor Park Forecourt on Sunday.